Welcome to my channel about writing stuff. My name is Camille and today we are talking about chapters. Chapter length, chapter arcs, and pacing. So the first thing to know about chapters is that it's all an illusion. It's all a lie. Chapters. <laughs> um, I don't recommend this for any new writers, but I've read books that do not have chapter breaks. The thing about chapters, it is literally just a tool to sort of slow down the pace, break the story up into parts and make it easier for your reader to digest and to make it easier for you as a writer to put all the pieces together. But with that said, the thing about chapters is they can be any word count. I read a book where one chapter was one page, the next chapter was 20 pages, the next chapter was like three pages. It really comes down to how you as the author want to pace your story and how you want to break things up. Um, so, you know, this sort of thing is really up in the air and you can really do whatever you want. But if you really don't know where to start with chapters or pacing in general, uh, I'm just going to give you some tips, some, you know, first time writer tips to get you going. So, um, my big tip here for chapters is that every chapter should have a chapter arc. And what I mean by a chapter arc, it's not the same as a character arc, although a character arc can be included in your chapter arc. What I mean is at the beginning of your chapter, there's usually a question posed to your main character, or there's something that your main character wants. Let's say you open a story with a, a homeless man who has no job, and you know his, his big want is to get better in life and maybe, you know, get his, his son back or his daughter back or something like this. But what he wants at the moment, what he desperately needs at the moment is something to eat. You know, that's a very simple want that anyone can relate to. And it's a good way to open a story is to give your character a small want that's not the main plot yet because the reader doesn't know what's going on. So for this chapter, that would be the beginning of this chapter arc is we are introduced to this character, we're getting to know them, the setting, but we know what the character wants. So by the end of the chapter, to create a full chapter arc, your chapter would end with either that character getting what they want, getting a meal, or not getting a meal. And this brings me around to the yes, but no and. If you don't know necessarily where to break up your chapters or how to pace things right, this is a great tool. So going back to the previous example, you have a character who hungry, wants something to eat. So you get to the end of the chapter and you know maybe within this chapter he met someone who offered to get him something to eat, so he goes and you end the chapter with say, yes, he does get something to eat. Someone buys him a meal and he's eating, but something else goes wrong. So yes, he gets something to eat, but maybe the guy who bought him the food poisoned it. So that's a chapter arc. And this is a good way to pace this chapter because posing that next problem will get your reader to continue on reading. You start the chapter, the first chapter, with guys hungry and want something to eat. You end that chapter arc with, yes, he got something to eat, but something else goes wrong. He got poisoned. So your reader is thinking, oh shit, guy got poisoned. I gotta keep reading to find out what's ha what happens. So they turn the page, they go into chapter two, and then you would pose another chapter arc. Or you would start another chapter arc by posing a new question, a new want, or a new problem guy's poisoned. Maybe he wants to find out how long he has before he dies. He wants to find out who this guy is, why he poisoned him. So that would be the arc for this chapter. And let's say we get to the end of the chapter and no, he doesn't find out any of these things and it gets worse. Let's say that the guy is trying to find out how long he has before he dies. He goes to a hospital, um, 
and no one will see him because he doesn't have insurance. So it's a no, he doesn't get what he wants, and it gets worse. And that's really just my general rule of thumb to keep the reader going. Um, the main thing with this yes, but no, and is you don't want to do too many no's. You know, if your character is struggling to get something the whole time and they never get it, then it's going to make the story feel very slow. Let's say that, you know, the poison guy, his first, the first chapter arc was he wants something to eat, but by the time we get to the end of the chapter, he doesn't. It's a no. But then he gets poisoned somehow. So we go into the next chapter and he's still hungry, but now he needs to find out how long he has before he dies and then all these other things start happening and piling on top of each other. You need to relieve your character with these character arcs. If you pose a question at the beginning of the chapter or if you introduce a new want, you need to answer some of those questions and give your character some of the things that they want along the way to give your reader the sense that the story is actually moving forward instead of just you, the author, continue, continuing to pile a bunch of crap on top of your character. Um, so that's pretty much it. Just a short, quick video on chapters. A lot of this stuff is are things that you can do in your outline, but if you are a discovery writer, I think this is a good rule of thumb. You know, I talked about beginnings last week, so I'm, I'm really focusing on like the first quarter or the first third of your novel right now, how to get things started. So, you know, that first chapter or the first two chapters, the first three chapters, you show your characters normal and then you go into the inciting incident. Um, but, you know, pose multiple questions along the way, especially if you're writing fantasy, you can pose these weird questions about the cultures or the magic um, and then have your fully fleshed out character wanting multiple things. You know, we all have big wants in our life and we all have small wants in our life. Like right now, my big want is I want to get an agent and get published, but I'm currently thirsty. So after this video, I'm going to get a drink of water. <laughs> and it's it goes like that. And then that's a great way to just do chapter arcs is, you know, answer one or two questions or give your character a small thing that they want, but not the big thing. Um, and it's about leaving some threads open so that your reader is thinking, okay, I got a little something. The character answered one question, but I need to know the answer to the other question. Or the character got two things that they want, but I really want them to get the third thing that they want. So I need to keep reading. And that's the easiest way to break up chapters. They can be however long or short you want, word count doesn't matter, um, just make it natural, I guess. Um, no resource this week. Next week I'm going to do a bonus video that I'm really excited about, so stay tuned for that. Um, if you would like to request a specific video, tweet me at Camille A. Singer. Uh, if not, I will see you guys next week, and as always, you should be writing stuff.